Hi everyone, it's Corey here from Web Gaming, and welcome to my channel. So, some of you may have noticed that I haven't uploaded a video for a while. There is a good reason for that. As you can see before you, I have been working on something. Now, a lot of you will uh, recognize this um, if you've ever been to Fort Park, because I am trying to recreate it. Um, now, disclaimer, I'm not perfect, and this is not the best recreation, but I am trying my best. So without further ado, uh, let's jump into it. Okay, guys, so we're here at the entrance uh, to my Fort Park recreation. Uh, first and foremost, I need to firstly credit Buzz Midget Slayer for this amazing sign that he's made. Um, I messaged Boz Midget Slayer on the PlayStation um, a couple of weeks ago and I asked him, uh, I let him know I was doing this and I asked him if he would be so kind as to uh, to make try and make the Fort Park sign for me and just look at this. What an amazing sign. Um, so all credit, all credit goes to Boz Midget Slayer for that. It's absolutely amazing, so thanks very much. Um, and so, yeah, so I don't really know how I got into doing this recreation, except um, obviously everybody knows Tommy CM. He's uh, been working on uh, Alton Towers recreation. I, I guess that gave me a lot of inspiration to do this. Um, I did actually have a conversation with Tommy CM, and I, I said to him, um, I was thinking about doing this, and he actually said to me, just give it a go, go for it. Um, so I did. Um, obviously, I'm working from right at the edge of the map. So over here, I've just done the little gravel car park that Fort Park has. It's not perfect again. Um, it's just somewhere, you know, just to, to sort of resemble Fort Park's car park. Um, and then obviously started with the entrance plaza. Um, so again, the pictures that I was working from, from Google, um, they're all different ones and the buildings are different colors in each picture. And so I just sort of put together what I could from the pictures I was working from. Um, and obviously my main focus being that it's recognizable, um, and that the sight lines are there. Um, if you've been to Fort Park, you'll probably recognize the, the long bus stop um, that you get off at or, or get on the bus if you're going back to the train station. Um, over the back here is just some maintenance buildings, which again, it's just what I've been working from from the Google images. Um, and then we've got the ticket booths, the long queues. Uh, you come through the ticket booths. And we've got the main entrance plaza. So again, I just I copied and pasted the sign that Boz Midget Slayer made and uh, put it up there. Uh, we've got the welcome to Fort Park. Got the entrance building. We've got the toilets over to the left-hand side with the vending machine outside. Uh, ladies and gents. Um, some custom-made terminals. Um, again, this is the closest I could get to what Fort Park actually has. Because um, obviously they've got their little scanning machine at the front and then you just you walk through the... Uh, terminal um, and because of the size of the map and obviously how much I need to get in here some things might not be to the perfect scale like this bridge for example obviously in, in real life it's a lot longer um, but I've obviously had to make it a little bit shorter because of fitting it all in and the same with the river it's, it's obviously a lot bigger in real life but I've had to make it a bit shorter uh, just to try and fit all this in um, and then we come to the dome. Now the dome is the first thing that I built in this park. Um, I, when I first thought about doing this recreation, I thought I've got to try this dome first because if I can't do the dome, then there's no point in even trying. So <laughs> I did the dome first. Um, I got that sort of how I wanted it. And then uh, I just went from there really and started working around it. Um, but again, it's all about the sight lines is what I'm working from so when you're actually standing on this bridge if you go to Google Maps and stand right here in this position this is exactly what you can see um, 
so that's what I'm working from uh, again we've got the side entrance that goes round uh, the maintenance area um, now I haven't actually done any work inside the dome yet um, so I've just sort of I've got to put in the, the shops and the, the little cafe and the restaurant um, so I'm still working on that but that will probably come in maybe the next episode um, and then obviously you'll come out here to like the little beach area but I started working on the left hand side of the park first so I thought I'd, I'd start in this bottom left corner um, so as you come around here uh, the first thing you've got is these uh, sort of seating areas, little benches. Which you can go down the stairs and sit along there, or you can sit along the bottom there. Um, also, I've got the the ramp um, down there as well with all the brickwork. Um, yeah. So as we continue on, obviously this is the first ride down here, which is I believe it's called uh, Vortex. Uh, you've got the little Ben and Jerry's stall there with some more vending machines uh, yeah vortex so again just from what I could see on the Google images um, this is sort of the best in terms of the sight line that I could get it uh, again custom fencing all the way around and even down to the exit Um, and then if you come back this way, we have the Zodiac entrance, which is the Enterprise, I believe, or I think that's what it's called. Um, and then if we keep walking around, we come out into the area where Colossus is. Now again, obviously I'm still working on this, um, and I'll keep you guys updated on how we're getting on. Um, but we've got Colossus and over here we've got Rush and now this one um, a lot of you probably remember Quantum um, it's kind of a magic carpet ride um, so obviously the game doesn't have that ride in it um, the magic carpet ride it's not actually in the game so I decided that I can't just leave it blank so I tried to recreate my own and this is what I've got obviously it's not functional um, it is just basic shapes and, and signs and supports but I thought I'd give it a go at creating my own magic carpet ride um, yeah so got the entrance and exit got a little ticket boot um, ride operators booth should we say um, and then the exit comes out here uh, which will go down into where you'll find the lockers and the staff rooms etc again a lot of work to do around here um, I'm not completely finished this area there is still a little bit of work to do around here but I am getting there um, I mean it's taken me about two weeks maybe three weeks to get this bit done so just to get this bottom left corner done um, so yeah, it's, it's a slow process, but it's, it's getting there. Um, okay, so then we'll walk up this way to where we have Colossus. Um, so we've got the little Colossus hot dogs over there. Little seating area, and obviously a very good viewpoint for the coaster as it comes round. Let's just have a look. I love that view. <laughs> um, and then we'll continue on as we go up the hill. So again, this is very tricky. With the way the paths work in this game, it's very, very tricky to get this even this way I did this ain't exactly the way I wanted it um, but this is as, as good as I could get the pass to go obviously that's the ride exit uh, which comes through the gift shop um, as we keep walking up and round we come across the bridge and down to the entrance 
Um, okay, so this is where I'm up to at the moment. Obviously, I've still not finished theming this ride. Got to put some custom fencing down and finish off the station building. And, um, yeah, so this is as far as I've got. Obviously, I'll be working out this way next, uh, which will be where uh, Saw, the ride is, um, and Samurai. But this is how we're doing so far. Um, what we will do is I will take you on a POV ride of the Colossus um, just so you can sort of see for yourself um, yeah guys and that's pretty much it so that's what I've been up to over the last few weeks um, I will try and get regular videos out for this and regular updates it's just a little bit difficult because it is very time consuming and it does take a long time to get these how I want them um, but I will keep you updated and let me know what you think um, yeah guys so I'll leave you now with a POV of Colossus and I hope to see you in the next one thanks guys